Hello everyone, welcome to the networking tutorials in IT Guru 2. This is the walkthrough video for IT Guru Laboratory for the Ethernet network. Ethernet network defines both layer 1 and 2 of the OSI reference model, and I am going to talk about the Ethernet's basic concept and protocol. The main concept of Ethernet is to connect computers and other networking devices in the network in order to share data devices and internet connection. Ethernet is a protocol or standard that works together to define the physical and data link layers of a network. The Ethernet protocol in data link layer uses an Ethernet frame. An Ethernet frame is a data packet that contains rules and how and when data will be transmitted from source to destination into the physical network. Ethernet switch is the common device in physical layer that is used to forward the frames. The Ethernet protocol in physical layer deals with a cabling standard like type, distance, voltage, and connector. And a very common example is the 10 base T standard. T is the type of cable in this case. It refers to a twisted pair also known as UTP. Basis for basement transmission and 10 is the speed in megabits per second. 100 base T is commonly known as fast Ethernet, while 1000 base T is known as gigabit Ethernet. And I prepared a laboratory scenario that we are going to simulate using the IT Guru Academic Edition software to find out the basic factors that affect the Ethernet network's performance. Okay, so here is our laboratory scenario. I would like to start a small customer care and technical support services business called I Care More in Monterey, California. And the company will start with 15 agents and 5 agents will be assigned in each department, which are billing, technical, and sales. All departments will be using email, database, and web applications into their workstations. The billing and sales department will be located at first floor and the technical department will be at second floor. Considering that I have to double my agents in few months later, would it cause a problem into the network's performance? So let's find out. So launch Opnet IT Guru Academic Edition 9.1, then click File, select New, then click OK. In the project name field, type your last name, underscore, lab, four. And then in scenario name, type 10 mbps underscore 15. Which means that this particular scenario is going to simulate a network with 15 workstations in 10 mbps speed. Using meaningful scenario names will help us later Especially when we create additional scenarios, it will be easy to identify and analyze results. So click OK to save the changes. So the startup wizard window appears that will allow us to create an empty scenario. So choose create empty scenario and click next. Choose office and click next. Just leave the default size as it is, then click next. Select Ethernet. then click next and click OK button so we now have our blank scenario workspace as well as the object palette window 